And that fantastic piece leads us to Check Me Out, a weekly showcase for Nigerians achieving amazing things around the world. Silas Adekule has always wanted to make robotics more exciting. Today, he has created the world's first intelligent gaming robot and has also been listed as one of the world's most revolutionary engineers. Let's check him out. Failure is a natural part of the journey. If you're not failing, you're not trying anything new. My name is Silas Adekunle. I'm a robotics engineer, a robotics entrepreneur. Check me out. I was born in Nevada, so and then we moved to um, Ocean State. And um, growing up, you know, the, the things I loved was uh, wildlife, which we have an abundance of in um, in in, uh, in Nigeria. My mom was a medical nurse, and you know, UK had this outreach program where they were, you know, taking they had a shortage of nurses and inviting nurses and these types of programs. So, you know, that my mom traveled. We were home with with uh, with, uh, with, uh, with with my dad, and then eventually we all went over to to go and join her. We all went there, I think we, we arrived in January, last winter, it was cold. I remember very well like growing up and you know, going to school and someone's like, oh, do you have a cow? Do you ride a cow? You know, do you live in huts? And I'm just like, what, what videos are you guys watching? Where are you getting all these stories from? Like, is it, like Nigeria, is it, you have cities, you know, what, like, what, what are you thinking? We, we grew up going to church and dancing and things like that, that's part of you, your, your, your culture. Over there things are a lot more calm, toned down. You can't just turn up at someone's house, you have to ring ahead of time, you can't just play in the streets, you know, so a few different things. So, you, you know, you, you look at all of the positives and you see some of the negatives. I went to university to study robotics and I was also a big gamer, so I loved gaming. So the things that we were learning about robots, I think, well, this thing is perfect to teach maths and sciences and you can, it's a lot more exciting than all of the boring stuff that we've been learning. So why don't we um, use robotics to teach these fundamental principles? And then the thing I did differently was, okay, sometimes robotics can be boring. Well, why don't we add gaming as a layer on top of that? So you're not just building a robot, you're building a video game character that can then, you know, like Mortal Kombat or something that can, that can battle each other, things like that. And then I saw that that idea picked up in the classroom. The students were a lot more interested, things like that. It's kids that would normally bully each other, argue, they were a lot more interested. Then I looked around at the toy industry. You know, at the time, it was like, you buy a robot, it's not really a robot. It's not like something that you see in a, in a movie. It's just this thing that just goes, you know, it's very basic. Why can't we take this idea and use it in the, in the you know, toy industry and change the type of toys that, that people see? Why can't you see something in a movie and say, I want to create that and actually bring it to life? You know, so that was the start of a, a six-year journey to then create a company called Reach Robotics. Oh, and over the, the life of the company, you know, raised, north of 15 million dollars was generating the millions of revenue we had a distribution deal with uh, with apple which is one of the biggest consumer electronics uh, uh, company in the in the world personally in terms of the journey that also allowed me to think look anything you set your mind to you can create you can bring to life and that was the foundation for well you know why don't we do this on a bigger scale why don't we start looking at how we can get robotics onto the African continent, enable robotics onto the African continent, which is what's now involved in that. My name is Salah Sadekunle. I'm a robotics entrepreneur, a robotics engineer, and you've just checked me out. One of the many Nigerians making us proud.